Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of the Arkham Asylum playthrough for Bayzona Gamers. My name is Barrett Courtney. As always, I am your Let's Player for our Let's Plays and your Batman Arkham Asylum expert. Now, in the, pr the first two episodes, I was having panic attacks because uh, you can... If you've watched those episodes, you know that I was freaking out about audio sync issues, and probably throughout those whole Let's Plays, you're like, what audio sync issues? What issues are ex you experiencing? We don't hear any issues. Well, the story is, uh, and just to give you guys, uh, this is episode three of our Arkham Asylum playthrough, um, we're currently looking for Dr. Penelope Young and her notes for the Titan formula. But anyway, while recording the Let's Plays, and like what my screen is showing me here, I like the audio and the video while recording is really off, and so at the end of episode two, I was like, "All right, I'm gonna go and figure this stuff out," uh, because I would while recording, like I would mute my mic and then listen to like the audio versus the video while recording, and while recording, it was like really off, like by like a good. I would say like one and a half seconds. I don't really care about that. Let's actually upgrade my armor because I've gone too long without upgrading it. And while recording, it was like a really big gap between like the like what I would see and like what I would hear. And then I watched the videos after I recorded them, and everything stinked up by itself. So, uh, just uh, ignore my, uh, ignore me freaking out. And if it's actually a problem in this episode, and I just don't realize it, like that's my bad. I'm not gonna worry about it at all, cause as I have seen, um, after the video exports out of like the software, it like sort of automatically syncs itself back up. That's actually, that's like what I hope is going on. Just like right now, like while it's recording, it just can't handle doing both at once. And then like once it's done exporting, then it like fixes itself. I hope that's the case. So I don't have to worry about this anymore. As you see, we got that uh, Raz Al Ghul, Raish Al Ghul, um, little Easter egg right here. And that's something cool in Arkham Knight. Spoilers for Arkham Knight. Uh... The before I go in here and start this cutscene, uh, the um, in the GCPD lockup, there's like a like a trophy room basically, and there's one for Raish. And if you hit a button, like uh, you hear Cash talking about him, and he starts off as Raz, I mean Raish, totally poking fun at uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. <clears throat> for mispronouncing the name, which was fucking hilarious. And this is something that I always, like, I didn't notice through, like, my first couple of playthroughs of Arkham Asylum. That blast mask mask is fucking huge and, like, literally makes no sense. Like, what what is going on? Whose face is that big? Look at that shit. That's, like, Batman's head plus, like... That's like from bat the top of Batman's head, po like probably down to the bottom of the Bat logo. All right, so now we're looking for her prints. Going through here, cool. And then, uh, so yeah, I'm playing through Arkham Asylum right now. I'm on Doctor Young. I'll eventually have a um, playthrough of Arkham City, probably right after Asylum, and then possibly a playthrough of Arkham Knight. Now, I say possibly, because I, I am confident in playing Arkham Asylum and Arkham City in about five and a half hours. So, for each of them, there will be five episodes. The last one being, like, an hour and a half. The other four being about an hour. And so, I've only played through Arkham Knight twice. And I've played through Asylum and City, like, fucking no one's business. It's, like, ridiculous how well I know both of those games. 
but I've only played through Night twice. It's only come out this year. Uh, I've played it through like the regular playthrough, and then I did the uh, whatever the New Game Plus. There you go. And so I'm not as confident of like going through that. And there's some parts, there's some gameplay moments in there that definitely take me a couple times. There's um, and it's I feel like it's just like a longer story. And also, I'm worried of how big the video files will be because it's such a graphical difference of, like, how detailed that game is and, like, how pretty it is as well. Like, there are definitely... I am worried about possibly some frame rate uh, skips. And in the game... if Sorry, tracking back to talking about Asylum right now. Uh, you should have this on. Uh, to help you find out like where she dr young has been going but since i've played through this game like fucking a million times i i just know where to go so yeah that's like another possible like possible like i might play through night maybe not i, don't, I didn't have any problems with assassin creed syndicate and that game is also very like um just very beautiful and the graphics are definitely I would say, like, better. I wouldn't, like, they're not, like, insane, like, blow your mind, but the jump between 360 and PS4 graphics are always going to be a big jump. So I just worry about video size and being able to upload in a timely manner and all that stuff. So they're, those are, like, the two, like, main factors of it, of, like, just time and uh, space for it. So, I do want to do Arkham Knight, though. And if all of that uh, becomes reality, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, these Let's Plays go up every Monday. And, um, for Arkham Knight, I might do every Monday, but I also might just do a week of Arkham Knight for, um, uh, they're, we're going to be gone for a couple weeks in late December, early January. So I might just, like, edit, like, play through Arkham Knight at some point through, like, early December. Record all of that. Edit that and then have, like, a one of the weeks that we're gone. So you can... So there's this, like, uh, like filler BCG content while we're all away. Because I'll be... I'm going home for Christmas... So I'll be gone for like a week, and then we're taking a week not to record, but to do uh, voting for our video game awards and our movie awards. So um, that might be like one of those weeks while we're away will probably be like the week we uh, roll out Arkham Knight videos. <laughs> I'm just going to start. I have two minutes to get up and save these guys. Minutes, <sighs> and I'm playing through this game, episode 3, still on November 3rd. I just took like a half hour break after episode 2 to make sure everything was fine. With audio and video and all that good stuff. <sighs> and I apologize, I really apologize. Like, I was really freaking out about that. I wasn't like crying or anything, but like... I, I guess I was, like, holding my own, trying not to cry, but inside I was definitely melting. There was, def there was some inner turmoil going on uh, while all that was going, um, going on, so I do apologize about that. <sighs> still sick. Still have to go vote. Not too worried, though. My voting location is, like, a block away from our house, so just got to walk over there. I already know what I need to vote on and stuff, and I read it all up on that this morning. So, if you live in San Francisco and you didn't vote, I'm disappointed in you, because we had some uh, some pretty important props to, to look at. Yes. If you want, the most significant one was, I think, Prop F, which you can, if you want to hear my thoughts about it, you can listen to our weekly podcast over on SoundCloud, The Shitcast. I believe it's episode 
8 or episode 7. The title is uh, Professional Idiots. So listen to that episode. I'll give my thoughts about Prop F and all that good stuff. So. Alright, looking for her fingerprints. Alright, here we go. Here are her notes. In this huge-ass book. That looks like a picture book, like a pop-up picture book. And that's like how ridiculous like the Unreal Engine used to be. It's just like... And was Arkham Knight even on Unreal? Let's look. It was. It was Unreal Engine. Intra they definitely improved it a lot. Because, like, er all the character... Um, like, everyone just looked, looked really bulky and awkward. Um, so, I'm glad they improved on that for, like, next-gen consoles. As you can see here, uh oh, we're coughing, we're coughing, we're Christopher walking, and coughing. And this is, uh, I'm always in a debate of like which one is my like favorite scarecrow hallucination. This one is really good, but I personally like, but the third one is really good as well. So. But it's, I guess, like, the sequence and how they did this was really cool. It's like, walking down this hallway and it's slowly turning into, like, the city and all that stuff. It's just, it's just really cool. I think, I think the third one might be my favorite. And you'll find out why. Where are you taking us? We can cut through here. But it's starting to rain. Bruce is tired. Can't we just wait for him here? Come on, keep up. We're nearly there. And I'm looking at the capture right now, the software. And it's already doing that, like... I, I see the sound waves go before the video. Of, like, that, like, that, like, flash of light. Like, I saw the sounds go up before the, like, the video hit the light. So I'm already freaking out a little bit. I'm not gonna go and stop and fix it or anything. So I do apologize if there is any audio, video unsynchronization. But hopefully this video will work out like the, the ones I previously recorded and just fixes itself once I export it. Really good scene. Really good. Come on, kid. This way. Take us and now you get to play as. Is he okay? Huge. Not that big of a head. It's just weirdly. There's just something weird about this, about young Bruce's head. No. He's What's going on here, kid? Money will fix that. Whatever. Look how I'm making fun of his head while this is like a really sad scene. Hear that? He's got a butler. He's got a butler. I just need to ask you some questions. Can I get you anything? You okay? This was really cool. This was a really nice. It's the only way to catch who did this. I'm getting texts from uh, the Shimoda. There's something wrong. My girlfriend. And listen, son. Call me Jim. All right, running through here, running through here. What are you trying to do? We're planning dinner because neither of us have really eaten today. I had a sandwich though, but I'm starting to realize that I'm really hungry. Uh, we're gonna have some orange chicken and fried rice if you guys are concerned. This is a good day. I just need to. I need to not freak out about audio, video stuff. This is a good day for, like, a productive day. I got the house pretty much clean up. Oh, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, a cool day for BZG. We have some opportunities coming to us very soon. 
some possible opportunities um, that Ricky is working on right now that could be really, really cool and really, really big for us. So uh, if that, you know, plays through, you'll definitely hear about that in the coming months at one point or another. And then um, got my business cards. I never knew, like, the, you have those skeleton fighting sequences. I never knew if you were allowed to fight the skeletons in Scarecrow's view. But I never, I never tried. And I don't want to. Yeah, I got my business cards. We're possibly making t-shirts for BGG. Not for, like, selling or anything. I don't think we'll make that many. I think we're just going to make some for, like, myself and Henry and Ricky. Seven, um, Alyssa, and Fluffy. Just, like, something for us, you know. Because, you know, we, we don't have that big of an audience. <laughs> So it, it's not, like, that big of an audience to justify, like, oh, let's buy all of these shirts and sell them. Like, no one wants BCG shirts. And I don't have the money to just, like, let's buy all of these and just give them away to get our name out there, you know? Like, that'll be what the business cards are for, you know? And business cards are way cheaper than shirts. Yeah, we're, we're setting that up. That'll be cool. Um... Fallout's coming out soon. By the time this video is up, most likely, because I still don't know whether or not this is coming up every Monday or all in one week or whatever. But I assume by the time this video is up, Fallout 4 is out. So, that's exciting. I'm really excited. I'm really scared as well. Because I'm scared that, like, I'm scared for a couple reasons, mainly because it's a huge game, and, you know, like, Fallout 3 didn't really appeal to me, so, but I want to get it, I want to try out 4, uh, just because of the vastness, and it looks way prettier than 3, which is something that also, like, I, that didn't appeal to me in 3, like, that game does not look good. On consoles, anyway. Uh, run, 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 run. And if you haven't watched the previous episodes of uh, the Arkham Asylum playthrough, you might be questioning, why, why are you doing this, Barrett? Why are you playing Arkham Asylum for a Let's Play so late in the game? This game, uh, this game came out six years ago. What's up? And the reason I wanted to play these, I'm selling my Xbox 360 soon to help buy the Vader PlayStation 4 that comes with Battlefront and some old school Star Wars games. So to do that, I don't have like money to just like buy another P like PlayStation 4. I got to sell my PlayStation 4. I got to sell my 360 and so for the foreseeable future, I will not be able to play these games for a long time. So I figured all right, my last playthroughs of these games, I want to do something cool. So I decided to Record Let's Plays, record playthroughs for Asylum and City. And you might like wonder, well, Barrett, you streamed the games and their videos up on your YouTube channel. Not anymore. By the time these videos go up, the the video streams, the on-demand streams, will not be available. The quality of those streams were, at the time, I thought like were acceptable, but just looking back at it, it's, it's sort of embarrassing. So. I wanted to go through and, you know, give a correct send-off to these games that I love so much. Alright, you gotta go over this guy, and then gotta beat him up. I love how you beat him up, and then this guy didn't hear it at all. Like, I know you're sort of, like, there's sort of a distance between, but you think he would have heard something. Video game logic, you know. Just the 
colors in this game. Just like sometimes the lighting, like I, I in the first episode of this uh, let's pl uh, playthrough, I was like, yeah, the lighting could have been better. But there's sometimes like so just the lighting of Batman makes it look very comic book like, and it's so fucking cool. Come any closer, and then right. paint the room crimson with her blood. <laughs> I know you're still out there. Won't be long, and you'll hear her final. Keep song. out, Zaz. Do it. Zaz, what are you talking about? Just kill her. She's useless to me now. But if I kill her, the bat will kill her. There we go. Zaz cut down to size. Evil, evil, evil monster. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. That's something I wish I got. We got more of in like the Christopher Nolan trilogy. Like we got like a cameo of Zaz in Batman Begins, and then we never saw him ever again. And I guess like they sort of did that with Scarecrow, where he was the one you saw in all three. But, like, whatever happened to Zaz, you know? I know he's not that big of a Batman character, like, villain, but it would have been cool to see, like, where he progressed throughout that, uh, universe. So now he has Venom and your formula. God, he has gallons of the stuff. There's a lab hidden in the gardens. Ah, uh, shit. Gallons of the stuff. What else is Joker planning? How should I know? You think anything he says makes sense? I think he's insane. <laughs> Get out of the way! And of course, as I said before, playing this on the Xbox 360. <laughs> Xbox 360. Even though the PS3 version has uh, cool Joker challenge maps. I think the only time you ever get to play as the Joker. There's, like, a bit in this part where you get to walk around as the Joker, but you don't get to, like, take people down as the Joker. So, whatever. Like, yeah, like, as I was saying, like, you see copies of, like, villains all the time. Like, those two gentlemen are literally, like, the same <coughs> um, model. But, you know, the the detail for the for them is just really cool their muscles and like the, like the detail just given to their pants and whatnot like you didn't see that in origins i know i keep shit talking origins i should just focus on like being happy and i was i was afraid that that dude was gonna punch me because i was taking that dude down but it worked out oracle dr young is dead have you figured out a way past these security gates? And there weren't as many... She told me I know I keep doing it. But uh, there weren't as many Easter eggs in Arkham Origins, too. The one Easter egg I remember seeing was when you go to the crime scene where you think uh, Black Mask is dead, and there's an apartment door that says Dr. Penelope Young. And that was literally, like, the one Easter egg I ever really found. Which was lame. All right, got the map. map. We got Scarface. We gotta find this. And we're gonna upgrade. Get some more armor. All right. So now I have to go after Harley. We might be able to take her down in this episode. Okay, hold on. Texting the Shimoda. <sighs> Before we leave, of course, I want to check out the hidden room. Oh, well, I might have... Oh, nope. I did all of those way too close to each other. But maybe I'll work it. There we go. Secret room, no one found. I, I think I remember finding it naturally, too. Like, I was, like, because I've played this game so many times, 
Like, I was literally looking for any more Easter eggs. I was fucking craving for Arkham City. I think, like, Arkham City was, like, just announced. I just remember looking at the swaths I was like, this is oddly just fucking blank. And I think it was, like, either the day of... It was, like, definitely the week of. Like, the week I found it, like, someone else had, like, found it as well. And it, like, became this whole big thing. So, you, yeah, here are the plans for Arkham City. Really cool. And it's hard to tell whether they gave it an update. Again, I'm not sure... Because that was so long ago. I don't know if, like, they are able to do that. Like, if they were able to update games for, like, the 360 or something, you know, like, put update files. Like, I definitely remember getting them on the PS4 because they happen so fucking often, so. So it's hard to know whether or not if that was in the game the entire time or or not. I remember accident accidentally going through this metal detector uh, after I took this guy out. And they were like, oh, hey. It's Batman. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Looking at the wave file again, it seems like it's sort of fixing itself. I don't know. Maybe it's always happened. I've never just never noticed it. Like maybe it always just like during recording, it just unsyncs itself and then fixes itself. And I just never noticed until now. I hope that's the case, so I don't have to worry about fixing it at any point. Whatever. I don't know, like, what's more fucked up. Leaving him hanging or cutting him down. I don't know. I cut him down anyway. Something that always bothered me, you might notice it when we get up to this tunnel. Because now we're going to the Insanity Ward. Or the Penitentiary, I guess. There aren't any speakers in this abandoned tunnel. Which I guess makes sense, because it's an abandoned tunnel... Why would there be any speakers in here, you know? So, there are, like, some announcements, some, like, really, like, funny announcements that you sometimes can't hear because you're going through here because it's more convenient. Something that always just bugged me a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, I got I gotta fart really bad. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry if you heard that. Oh. Oof. Safety. Don't let him hit you. You want some? Boop, boop. Boop. And if you're ever and like I don't ever want to, like, oversell myself. Because I feel like, um... I don't know what family of mine watches this. Probably none of my family. Um... I feel like some of my family, like, overthink my skills as... Someone who plays video games. Like, oh, he spends, like, way too much time playing video games. So he's, like, way too good and all this stuff. And, like, watching this video is, like, more proof to that. 
I'm not that great at video games. The Batman Arkham games are just pretty easy. And I know that might be hard for some, like, older folks in my generation who are just like, all video games are just way too complicated. But you gotta think, like, we... Like, my generation is, like, the generation that was raised through, like, the advances of video games, you know? The... I'm gonna go up here. They won't notice me, though. This is fucking f hilarious. Um, like, I was... Like, I remember being a kid and learning the, like, basic ropes of... Like Super Mario and like Mortal Kombat and all that, and that's like basic video games, and I was like that was available to, available to me as a child, and like some older people in my family, like they their brains were fully developed by the time those games came out, so they've just never gotten used to video games. I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with this thought, but I always think it's very interesting, because I always feel like they're. I don't know if, like, future generations will be as as good at video games like these as, like, my generation is because I feel like you need a natural progression through the years of video games to be able to get up to this point. I know if, like, the Shimoda and I ever have any kids, they're not going to start out with, like, any of this, like, 3D sort of world. They're going to start out, like... I don't care if I have to, like, get it on a Wii U or something, but they're going to start off with, um, like, Super Mario World and stuff. Like, basic 2D side scroller sort of games. And then go from there. Like, I'll have them play, like, Donkey Kong 64, which is, like, one of my favorite games of all time, and, like, have them learn, like, about, like, 3D worlds through that. Because the Shimoda... Uh, it's just something interesting about, like, the progression of, like, my generation, like, growing up along with the video game industry, is, like, the Shimoda is a little older than I am, and, like, she played games as a kid, you know, she would, um, she played, like, some N64 games and, uh, some games before that, and she was definitely used to, like, the one, like, joystick, sort of, like, N64, where you get, the, like, the one joystick, you don't really have to control where you're looking. And she never played a video game ever since then, like, um, consistently. And so, now dating me, like, she's around video games all the time, and not every once in a while I'll have her try to play a video game. And she still can't get used to the, the two sticks, because it's been years since she's, like, consistently played a video game. So, she hasn't had that natural progression of adapting to how controllers work and moving your character around along with, like, their face. Like, it's just weird to think, like, that's something that's very natural to me, and it's weird to think that, like, someone doesn't get that. It's sort of... I want to try to compare it to something. I don't know, it's sort of just like a second language. It's sort of like... People who don't, like, know how to drive a car. It's, like, weird to think, like, driving a car is fucking simple. Riding a bike is simple, you know? Like, you never forget. I'm just gonna have to say, Poison Ivy in Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. She's just really hot. It's just fact. She's just really, really hot. Look at this outfit they have her in. Like, what the fuck? Like... Like, really? This isn't fair. It's not fair. Don't do that. Now, I will give them props, and I think, you know, definitely, um, sexism has definitely been a big, um, discussion throughout the years, ever since, I don't know if there's an exact year, but it wasn't as big of, well, I don't want to say, because uh, I was way younger when... Arkham Asylum came out, so maybe I just didn't notice it. But there was just something, and this is this is Clayface, obviously. Um, I feel like Rock City like learns like maybe we shouldn't sexualize our characters as much, because you see it a lot, like with Harley and like I feel like there's just a, something about our society that's developed over, like, the last, like, five, six years that made Rock City be like, maybe we shouldn't over-sexualize our female characters as much anymore. Because, yeah, Harley 
and poison ivy. Like, look at this. This is a, this scene is this fucking. It's this hot. There are curves everywhere. It's ridiculous. And then city like Catwoman's got her thing a little zipped down. Um. And okay, I got I got a confirmation. These videos are up every Monday. <clears throat> Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> oh fuck. <clears throat> um. Yeah, in Arkham City, like her vest was uh, zipped down a little bit, and then. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, and then Arkham Knight, it wasn't as bad, I believe. But maybe that's just me remembering things incorrectly. But I feel like in Arkham Knight, like, Poison Ivy was given a much more realistic, um, sort of, look. Hold on, I'll be right back. Watch this real quick. I gotta go put a Diet Pepsi in the freezer. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. It's useless. Half the code won't get you anywhere. Here. All right. There's always a way out. Always. I know I just missed it, There's but you know, whatever. Um. All right. Sorry. I'm playing this let's play, and I also have to help Ricky get this stuff, get this possible cool stuff going on. Stay here. Lock this gate when I leave. Good idea. Can't have someone of my stature falling back into their hands. All right, just give me one second. Just gotta send Ricky some links. One of them being youtubecom gamers. Videos up every weekday. And then the second link I am sending him is soundcloudcom zona Dash gamers that has our podcast every Sunday. There's never like a set time. It just goes. I usually try to get it up in the morning around like 11, I think. All right, so now the crazies are out. I remember playing through this for the first time, and I, I like, they don't creep me out as much. Cause I just I'm such an expert at this fucking game that I don't really I don't really give it a thought. But I remember playing through this game like for the first couple of times, and these guys fucking terrified me. All right, now we gotta go up here. Surprise! I wish there was a way to have saved that guy who's you about to die. I always thought there was a or maybe he doesn't die. I don't know. I have to check. <laughs> Cause you wouldn't think like these are patients. No matter how, like, insane they are, they're still patient. And, like, the whole point of, like, the electric floor is to prevent them from truly escaping. So you wouldn't think that the electric shock would truly kill them. I don't think it kills them. Like that guard over there. Because Batman also doesn't, doesn't let people die. And, um... Later on, like the Harley boss fight, isn't really you fight you fighting Harley. It's more of you're gonna fight these guys, and you have to pay attention to this uh, the electric floor and all this stuff. And there are instances instances where the enemies that you're fighting can um, play victim to the electric floor. Now we're gonna beat all these guys up to keep them away from the guns. Um, And if it if the electric floor really killed him, you know it would like Batman would not be about that. You know he wouldn't be about that life. Whoop! And here we have coming in as a special guest for this let's play, Alyssa Shimoda. What's up, Shimoda? <laughs> All right. So now we gotta go. Get this uh, electric floor to stop. Clocking in at about 40 minutes, so. <sighs> Another about 10 minutes. We'll, we'll, tr we'll beat Harley in this episode, so we might go over five episodes. 
just uh, cause you know we got we gotta do dinner, we gotta go vote, do our civic duty as the San Francisco um, residents. It's okay, Shimoda. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, we got a uh, we got a trophy right here. Alright, there's pandemonium going on. I'm sorry. Our apartment's tiny. If I could have a studio for our Let's Plays, that would be awesome. But, you know, you know, I just gotta work with what I have. Not that I'm complaining. Not the chicken. We're making dinner plans, people. No, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Okay, you want to eat, like, right away. Okay. I talked about that a little bit. Earlier. Okay, so... Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm, I don't feel like eating any of this. Sorry. I love you. I have an undying love for you. Um, it's okay that we're talking about food, because these Let's Plays so far have been a disaster. If you, if you watch the last two episodes, I freak out about audio sync issues that don't actually ever happen. Um, just try to be, like, with the plastic. No, just cut it open. It's okay. Oh shit, I gotta I'm not I'm not paying attention now, I'm gonna kill these people. You're distracting me. I don't care if the this is like sort of like a you know, pants off sort of whatever sort of let's play series, you know. This is a casual let's play series. This is my fa it's my these are like some of my favorite games of all time, so you know, I, I really don't care. With our other Let's Plays where I try to present, like, new... I'll stop her and then her it's hot in this apartment. Um, with other Let's Plays where there's, like, new video games coming out, I try to be a little more professional to try to give you, like, uh, details about, like, what's going on and um, how I feel about the game. You should know. Like, I, I just... I fucking love these games. There's no... There needs no serious critique, critiquing in these games. I'm not talking to you. Oh shit, I forgot about that dude. <laughs> I love you. I was joking. Alright. Looks like I'm not getting any dinner tonight, folks. Let's go with the Sonic uh, Battering. I like that one. Not necessary. But uh, it, it can definitely help you out. The one... Upgrade, I feel like that's completely useless, is the remote control battering. Alright, let's see if he's alive or not. Okay, he's just unconscious. So he never died. Who is on him? Are those, like... That is so weird. Okay, so... F this is a glitch. There are two guard bodies right here. And I think what happened was... One of the, like One of them loaded, and then... I think it's the same guy, just it, he accidentally, like, loaded twice. Interesting, that's never happened before. Very interesting. Ooh, yeah, the Shimoda's not happy right now. Tensions are high. No, that's not the word I'm looking for. Is that the word I'm looking for? Does that, grammatically, does that make sense? Tensions are high. Alyssa spent her her whole day today at school, so she she does not have the mental capacity to have. I was just trying to be silly. <laughs> You're giving me like that face. Like it's not fair because we don't record video anymore of us. So like people think you're serious, but you're just grinning at me. I love you. You have a special place in my heart.
Alright. Slowly getting to Harley. What are we're, we're we're clocking in at forty five minutes. We're gonna try to go for the next fifteen minutes. But as I said in like the first episode, I wanna do each of these episodes at about an hour, possibly over, possibly under, depending on like where there's a good stopping point. And I feel like this Harley boss fight might be a good stopping point for us. So we'll see how long it takes us to to beat these guys. I guess I'll do the Harley boss fight, and then I'll do a couple of these Riddler trophies that I think are cool. As I said, like, I'm not tr trying to take down the Riddler in, in uh, this playthrough, uh, but um, I'll pick some up every once in a while if you need tips on where to, um, on where to go and whatnot. For some of them. There's a significant amount that you can find just playing through the game. Except like the bigger, like when you get like outside and stuff onto the island. The Shimoda right now is dancing with an onion. I have no idea what. Oh, it's a pomegranate. Okay. I'm really excited about all of today. And I've said to you guys uh, already uh, why today has been a really cool day. And I'll talk to the Shimoda later about it. I've had a really good day so far. Up oh, that I waited to. I'm sorry. I started recording these before you got. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, like that guy got def like uh, knocked out by the electrical floor. So. I should have known by that, like, Batman letting those guys get shocked. I should have known that that guard lived. <sighs> okay. Um... Alright, do we have another round coming in? Oh, wow, that was it. I did that in two minutes. I remember when, like, I thought this was, like, one of the hardest boss fights ever. Not ever in, like, all of video games, but in this game. Gotta go vote, Shimoda. What would Batman do? It's all about justice. You go vote. Why the smiles next Like a location? Oh, uh, because your school is a, a polling location. Okay. We have people But you can't. Get it. You won't find Mr. J. He's in the secret lab of the gardens and oh crap. Yep, I know. Damn. Sorry for all the background noise. It's okay, it'll only be for this episode once I come back and for the last two episodes, I presume. I'm gonna try I'm I'm trying to beat this game in five episodes. But we'll Subdued. see. And I have a print scan. So you can find the secret lab in the gardens. Yes. Harley's been. Right, I'm not gonna do. There, like, there's. I'm not gonna go through it. There's a cool Riddler trophy, like in this uh, vault right here, and then it closes on you, and you freak out for a second, and then you can escape through there. And then there's this Mr. Freeze one. I'm just gonna try to get through as much as I can in the next ten minutes. So we're we're going to the gardens. Let's see, I'm going to try to plan this out here. We've got the gardens, and then... And then Croc. And then back to the gardens, and then Joker. So yeah, I should be able to beat these... Um, beat this game in the next two episodes. Maybe even in the next episode. No... 
don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to be ambitious here. Because my best speedrun through Arkham Asylum is 5 hours and 20 minutes. So if I can do, if I can beat it in the next episode, that means like I've played through it for like four and a half hours. So that's like significantly beating my uh, my time. But I don't know. I don't think so. No, because the Joker stuff might take a couple of tries. Oh, here's another great. Oh, but on the way to Croc, there's Scarecrow, so that'll take up. So no, it'll be the next two episodes. This is a great moment right here, because you have your uh, detective vision on, and you see these two guys hiding out over here, but then you never saw this guy coming, which was always fucked up. Is there anything even up here? I forget. I don't think so. Yeah, no. That's fucking awesome. And then he's going to pop up. Uh, like, that's something Rock City definitely tried to improve on in City. We're playing through detective mode, like, there's no disadvantage. Like, you constantly have the upper hand. Always being in detective mode. So there's no, like, super jump scares, and they probably, like, foresaw that, so they probably put in things like that guy you couldn't detect and whatnot. Um... I think there's like one other like that where you can't detect him and then All right, a lot of these guys are going to start chasing after me. Will they ever stop? Let's test it out. No. All right. Yeah, I still really don't like them. I don't like dealing with them. They're just... They're not as scary as they were when I first played this game. As a young Barrett. But, you know, now, now they're just sort of like... They gotta deal with him so he doesn't constantly chase me. You know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Shimoda knows what I'm saying. I don't think the Shimoda's ever, like, fully watched... Any of these games. It was interesting, because I, like, I, I don't make her watch any games. But it's weird that I've never made her watch through, like, Arkham Asylum or Arkham City. It's my favorite superhero. Some of my favorite games. Like, she definitely, like, she's, she's heard us talk about it. Like, she knows, like, Joker dies in City. Or maybe not. Oh, P Pookie. Pookie's freaking out now. Pookie did not know. I'm sorry. I don't know, did we ever talk... We've talked about that. We've had to. Around to you. Like, Joker dies at the end of City. Um, spoilers for Arkham Knight, because I already spoiled Arkham Knight stuff in the first episode, I believe. Or maybe the second. Of, like, Jason Todd as Arkham Knight. Like, I feel like we've talked about that around you. I just don't think you care enough to really take note. So that's interesting. I've never made the Shimoda watch through these games. She's interested in some games. She's not that, like as I was saying before, she's not that big of a gamer. But, um... What the fuck? Or, uh, uh, here we go. She's not that big of a gamer, but there will be some games every once in a while where she'll actually, like, sit down and pay attention. Attached to Batman. You don't want to be, because you hate the Joker. Mm. In case you couldn't hear, she's very far away. She doesn't have the emotional strength. I should pick up Harley Quinn's trail. I can't waste any time in finding the Titan production plant. Very true. Um. So, but you know what? There was a video game that the Shimoda once got into, called. Oh shit. I ran into this problem last time as well. I haven't upgraded to the double battering, so I can't get both of these guys at the same time. So what we're going to do... Oh, shit. Interesting. Is he going to be able to see me right here? 
because usually by now everybody has upgraded to the double battering because they think it's so much more useful. It's not really. So by the this point, you can hit both of those guys at the same time. And they both get knocked out. But that's the only like, and that's like really the only point in the game where the double battering comes to use. Of course, now after I beat those guys up. I can upgrade and get the double battering. I'm still not going to get it, though, because I know that's the only place in this game that it really matters. Um, <clears throat> Alright. So we're going to... Oh, that's the next thing I should upgrade, is making the... making these easier to decode. There we go. Alright. So, I think that's where we're going to end it there. We're at, like, 56 minutes or whatever, so this is not, like, the best stopping point, but, you know, it's not the worst stopping point, I guess. So, thank you so much for joining me for part three of the Arkham Asylum playthrough. Again, my name is Barry Courtney. As always, I am your Let's Player for Bay Arizona Gamers. Uh, we have videos up on YouTube.com slash Bay Arizona Gamers every weekday, whether it's a Let's Play, whether it's talking shit, whether it's a quick review. Every weekday there is a video. Sometimes two videos, like today. This is co coming up on a Monday. So there's this video, and by the time this video is up, there's an episode of Quick Reviews up. It's fucking crazy. So now you have two videos to watch today. I know. It's crazy. It's pandemonium. So yeah, playing through these games, playing through Arkham Asylum, playing through Arkham City, because I'm selling my 360, yada, yada, yada. I've talked about it in this episode. Whatever. So, if you want to keep up to date what we're doing for Bay Arizona Gamers, you can always find us on Twitter, collectively at Bay Arizona Gamers, and I'm personally at Banandler Chong. So go over, tweet at me how you don't like that there, there are hearts now instead of stars for likes or whatever on Twitter. You can also tweet at me about how much you also love the Batman Arkham games. And uh, if you're watching this, you don't even have to tweet at me. You can just comment below. Let me know how much you like this game. How much you love this game. What you would have done differently of taking down guys or fighting guys or whatever. And if you like these Let's Plays so far, like that like button, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel for more episodes of the Arkham Asylum playthrough and eventually Arkham City playthrough and maybe even the Arkham Knight playthrough. So one last time, thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, have a great day. Full of all things Batman. Like Batman Arkham Asylum, the new 52 Batman, the Dark Knight Trilogy, the 90s TV series. It just goes on and on. Have a great day full of Batman.